political TikTok time. If you don't want to talk politics, then you probably want to skedaddle. Today's topic, gun control. Now, I know this might come as a shock to some of you, but the Second Amendment does not supersede all other rights. For example, I have the right to live without having to fear for my life every time I go to school. Plus, there are plenty of other types of guns you are allowed to own besides assault weapons. Also, why on earth would you need an assault weapon? Also, to those of you who say, oh, but we need it for self-defense, using a gun is not self-defense, that's a counter-offensive. A real defense would be something like a bulletproof shield, if that existed. And here's what I say to the argument, oh, but what if we just kept the guns away from the bad guys? And then, uh, what if we gave it to the good guys? That's a great idea, but how are we going to be able to tell who the good guys are? I'm going to steal from Jon Stewart for a bit. Oh, I know. Let's ask him. I mean, I'm sure people are generally honest about that. Okay, maybe not. So what if we got uh, good guys to vouch for people? <coughs> people vouch for Harvey Weinstein. <coughs> so evidently that's not going to work. Maybe we should just focus on keeping guns out of the hands of bad guys instead. But how on earth would we know who the bad guys are? Well then, you'll be happy to know that, according to many studies, domestic violence is actually a precursor for gun violence. So if we just kept guns out of the hands of domestic violence offenders, then shootings would decrease drastically. Also, there are already laws in place saying that domestic violence offenders are not allowed to own firearms. If we just enforced those laws, we could prevent so many shootings. But in many cases, unfortunately, cops are afraid of taking away all the guns of a domestic violence offender out of the fear that there will be repercussions for them. Well, guess what? That is the gun that offenders will use to kill people. Because for some reason, people believe that the Second Amendment supersedes all other human rights, even though it doesn't. But I want to keep my guns. Well, I want to live.